Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate everyone who comes and checks the channel out. Thank you for being here. So what we're going to talk about tonight is I get this question a lot is can you put an actual CA certificate on an edge switch? And yes, you can. And there are some requirements in environment or there are some environments that require it. So at home, it's probably fine to use the self self-signed certificate, no harm, no foul. But if you are in a, an environment that has regulatory compliance that says you cannot use self-signed certificates, you need to install an actual CA signed certificate into your devices. And this happens all the time. It's not uncommon, but this is how you do it for an edge switch. So let's check this out. If you're just doing this at home, we're going to cover a really easy way a really easy way to do this and when we get into some of the other stuff I'm going to show you how to do it in OpenSSL on your own Linux Ubuntu box if you were doing this for a web server or something that was not inside of your network or in fact maybe just watch this video to know that this can be done and don't use this method at all and then later when we get to the OpenSSL video, you can follow those steps. But you can go to csrgenerator.com. Now, this is going to generate a CSR, a certificate signing request, and it's going to give you a private key. It's in a web browser. It's on a server happening somewhere else. So we don't know if they're keeping a copy of that or what. So this is kind of just for demonstration purposes. And then when we get to the OpenSSL version, I'll show you how to do that. Keep that on your own server. But if you just want to follow this to know that it can be done, this is a, a good example. So what I've done is I've filled out my CSR, my country, my state, my locality, city, my organization, the admin, organizational unit is administration, and the common name is going to be edgeswitch1.howx5.com. Now that is my fully qualified domain name for this switch that we're going to be working on. And then the key size is going to be 2048 bits. So we're going to hit generate CSR. And our CSR is going to come up. And the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to copy this. A text pad so that you can work with it. So you've got your CSR up here. And then you've got your private key down here. Now, we're going to need this private key because after our certificate is issued, we're going to take the contents of our certificate and we're going to merge it with this private key. So right here, you can see where it says begin certificate request. So you're going to take this and you're going to go over to SSLs.com or wherever you have purchased your SSL certificate. So as you know, I use SSLs.com. So if you have a certificate available, you would come in here and you would go to activate. You would paste your, your CSR in here and you would walk through these steps to get the certificate issued. If you want to see this in depth, you can go back to my Unify and my Cloud Key videos because I walk through this process to get the certificate issued. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward to the part where you actually have the certificate. You're going to be sent an email and that email is going to contain a text version of your certificate and that's what I have right here. This is the text version of my certificate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my private key and I'm going to copy my private key And I am going to paste it directly underneath my certificate. And now I've saved this on my desktop under a folder called Edge Switch. And we're going to call it edgeswitch.pem. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So now we have a completed PEM file. All right, so you've got your SSL certificate. You've combined everything. You've got your, your PEM file. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into our Edge Switch. And we're going to navigate to system. And we are going to go to management access HTTPS. 
and we are going to down here where it says certificate status it says absent we're going to hit upload and the very first option is SSL trusted root certificate PEM file so we're going to uh, click upload we're going to select our PEM file and we're going to upload it then we are going to go to we're going to drop that down and go to SSL server certificate PEM file choose that same file and hit transfer then we're going to click close now you can see this says present we'll click HTTPS admin mode enable we'll click submit we will click save configuration say OK and now our SSL certificate should be installed because we're going to pop over to webmin and this is my lab DNS server and we issued, if you remember right, when I, we were looking at that CSR, we issued edgeswitch1.howx5.com. So we're going to come into our bind server. We're going to go into our howx5. We'll go into the addresses, and we are going to add edgeswitch1. And that's going to be 192.168.66.6. And we'll go ahead and create that. So now we have that. We'll go ahead and apply the configuration. And we're going to open up a new tab, and we are going to try to get to that. Okay, so after we saved this configuration with our certificate installed, you can see now that edgeswitch onehowx 5 we have the green padlock. So SSL, our SSL certificate is successfully running on the edge switch. And, I mean, there's not really much more to it. It's actually easier to put an SSL certificate on the on the edge switch than it is uh, the unify the unify controller there's much you know there's much fewer steps to it so I mean if you have to secure your edge switch a lot of you know compliant driven you know uh, installations have to do that it's possible and it's easy and it's cheap you know that SSL certificate was on sale I think I got it for two ninety seven a year or something like that right now, and you know you can only issue SSL certificates for two years, but that's it. So, um, you know, next week we've got some grand stream videos, you know, coming in. So come back for that. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can go to h5llc.com and join the newsletter. There is some content that uh, only comes out in the newsletter. I don't put it out in videos, so sign up for that. In fact, this Sunday, I'll be picking uh, someone from the newsletter to win a net tool. Also, our Discord link's down there. Charlie does a fantastic job of running that server for us. And if you need gear, the Amazon uh, sh uh, shop link is down there. And it doesn't change your price, but it kicks a few bucks over here, and that's always appreciated. As always, if you need consulting, please go to h5llc.com and reach out to me. And we'll see you in the next video.